we've got a lot of jobs, we've got a lot of things that we do in our home, but when we have products that actually make it easier and faster so we can enjoy more time with the family or being outside, that's exactly what we want. And we have some items that are going to give you fun this summer, uh, that are going to help you get in and out a lot quicker, and also items that, you know, you're going to say, wow, who thought of that? That is so cool. And I think that that's what we're going to be talking about with our first item. This is uh, the Coquina. It's the Club 3-in-1 cooking sheet today at the Shopping Channel. And I have tried this on my barbecue, and I can tell you it is phenomenal. Have you ever been to a campsite or to a park where you've got a barbecue out there that you don't know who has used it and what's been on it and it looks nasty? Oh. Well, you can take this sheet with you, put it right on the barbecue, and still get grill marks. That's right. You still get know. grill marks, and yet you're getting hygiene. This is great for baking sheets, for pans, for grilling, for cooking, for so much more. Your cookies, your breads, your pizzas. It's $24.99. And here to tell us more about it, Abby Sharp is with us in the Thank studio. Thank you. Good to see you. Welcome, Absolutely. Abby. Thank you so much. Yeah, this Coquina is going to revolutionize how you cook and grill. It's a three-in-one non-stick grilling and cooking mat. Goes on the barbecue like we've got here. We can put it in the oven. You can put it on your baking sheets. Mm. Going to make everything so much easier and healthier, too, because you don't need to grease things and add a bunch of oil. Right. So no fats, no oils, no, no fats, greases. No fats, no oils. And reusable. Yes. Unlike a wax paper or a cooking paper that you would throw out after you use it, you wash it and keep going. Now look at this. It's 150 centimeters long. Just, I mean, ooh, ooh. you could just go on forever. And so the lovely thing about this is you cut it to fit the unique uh, unique surface you're trying to cover. Okay. So we all have different size grills. We all have different size if ovens. If you've got a super duper barbecue, you can cut it. This would be an amazing <laughs> barbecue, but you could get a barbecue one, a cooking sheet, and an oven guard out of one sheet. Okay. So I want to start with the grill because, you know, Father's Day is on the way and we're thinking about barbecuing, of course. And, you know, the, one of the number one things people ask me about when it comes to barbecuing is, is this even safe? Like, it's kind of strange is to put something. Is it going to catch on fire? Is it going to catch on fire? Is it going to be leaching things into my food? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Okay. It is FDA approved up to 550 degrees. Mm -hmm. And unlike a lot of other nonstick cookware, which, you know, has uh, something called PFOAs, and that has some yes. environmental concerns to it. This is PFOA free. It's actually made with a unique nonstick cooking material that doctors and surgeons use inside the body oh, wow. to create like um, valves when they're doing heart surgery. Oh my gosh. So okay, if it's so safe enough safe. for that, you know it's safe to be cooking on. So I've got, I'm just going to throw some, uh, some banana down. I've got some pineapple on the grill. Honey going on. You're putting honey on that banana? Oh yeah. Like why not? We're going to do a little breakfast brunch mm. on the grill. And you can imagine, you're putting honey right onto the grill. Okay. That's going to make a big old mess. You're not going to want to have to clean up that. But with the coquina, you just wipe it clean, a little warm soapy water, and, and it's and good as done. new. Now, what I love is that you get the grill marks still. That's so, key. You know, you put it on, and, and, and it saves you having to scrub and, and you know, oh. go at your barbecue. That's the big thing. It's like, I don't have time to be scrubbing and scraping when I've got guests over who I'd love to be able to actually enjoy my time with. Mm. And look at this. I'm going to throw down some coconut. Definitely can't Ooh. do that. On a normal grill. Coconut on the grill. Normally, obviously, it would just go right down the grates, right? right? But with the coquina, you actually can, you can pull that off. And mm -hmm. I always find even when I'm gr grilling vegetables, I'll lose half of them down the grates, right? Right, right, so, right. So you actually get to enjoy nice. that. And then it's just one mat that you, you rinse off after you're done. Yep, warm soapy water. It doesn't carry flavors. It doesn't carry odors, which is really important if, let's say, you're cooking fish. And uh, right. then you would like to do like a dessert afterwards or a cross-contamination. Right. We have friends who are vegetarians, and they don't want their, you know, their 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 vegetables touching the same area of the of the meat. grill as the meat. Okay. So it's reversible, it's reusable. This will last you. See how all. it's got the grill marks still, but yet, so you see how easy this is going to be to clean. So if it is fatty, if it is greasy, if it is, you know, charring onto well, your grills, you've got don't. all the barbecue sauces, or as you did, honey. Honey, and that's the thing. When it comes to charring, as a dietitian, that's something I'm concerned about mm. because I don't want that charring to to cause, cause car carcinogens in the okay. body, right? And that's what it does. So this is going to totally cut down on the risk of those flare-ups, mm. which can be carcinogens. Okay, so do your burgers on there, do your steaks on there, do your French toast, your bananas with honey, your pineapple, and your coconut. You can do it all, and also you can work in the uh, in the oven as well. I mean, I always, I do a lot of baking at home, mm. and I love baking pies. I tend to overfill them, admittedly. <laughs> 
and then you get a big mess on the bottom of your right. oven. So I want to show you because let's say I made a pie. I just put this, you cut it to fit again, put it on the bottom rack. Okay. And look at this big mess that yeah. I've got going we, on. Here, I do right? that when I do my, my raspberry oh. rhubarb pies. Could you imagine having to scrape that off the bottom of your oven? It, it, or worse yet, you put the oven on self clean and the clean, you smell up the oh. entire house. That is the worst. That is the worst. But look at this little warm soapy water and it literally just comes right off. So easy, you're not scrubbing, you're not scraping. You get to spend that time with your family and friends right. and enjoying your pie. You're not right. worried about ruining any of your dishes. No. You're not worried about the big mess on the bottom of the oven that could cause fires later on and oh. flare ups later on as it's burning. That's right, that's what I, I mean, that's always a big concern with me when you've so got kids. So just stick it in the there, wash it off, and it's gonna be good to go. Good as new, and okay. it actually can go in the dishwasher as well if that's something that you would Fantastic. prefer. I also want to quickly show you this. We've got some quesadillas because I love Mexican night in my home. Mm. But let's be honest, if you're trying to cut down on fat, you're probably not going to try to grease that pan or you want to bake things so that you're not pan frying. Look at all that stuck on. Your quesadilla is going to get stuck to your pan and you're going right. to have to wrestle with it to try to get it off. But with the coquina, like look at this one. Easy peasy. And it just lifts just right lifts off. Right. That simple, that easy. Mm -hmm. And now I'm not worried about that baked on, caked on cheese oh. onto the cookie sheet and trying exactly. to get it off later. This is the kind of baking sheet that you would have to soak, then scrub, mm -hmm. then put in the dishwasher. You might as well buy a new baking sheet. Absolutely. I've done that a few times, admittedly. Now we've done all kinds of things on the coquina today, you know, from the ribs to the French toast to the burgers. You know I'm going to steal a cookie. Oh, yes. So the cookies and even cooking without burning on the bottom, mm -hmm. too, so you get really even, even heat, heat distribution. Even heat distribution. Okay. And I love that because, again, it doesn't carry that flavor and color so, uh, uh, and odor. So let's say you wanted to make a meatloaf or fish dinner for your fam mm. family, and then you wanted to bake a batch of cookies, you just wipe it clean, and your cookies are not going to smell like uh, like fish or the meat that you're preparing. And you can use it over and over and over and over again. Uh, love it for the barbecue. Many yeah. of us out there have done our barbecuing, and we get you know the the nastiness on there. Well, definitely uh, take advantage of this, and and a great gift idea too. If you know somebody who has a cottage or. Um, you know, you go to their backyard pool a lot and you're always over there at their house. Get them this so that when they're doing the grilling, it makes their job a lot easier. Absolutely. Thank you so much, oh, Abby. Thank great you for having me. You. Absolutely. Wow, what a great tip. All right, I'm going to go.